Hi there, I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey, and today I'm going to take a look at what do you do if you have no stop in your algo system. So let's get started. Today's question I'm going to answer is what do you do if you have no stop? And the reason this came up is a viewer asked the question, said, hey, I notice you use stop and reverse systems where I'm either long or short, but I have no stop loss in the code. And he said, well, how do you do risk management? How do you know how to position size when you don't know the stop value? I'm going to talk about that in this video. And as it turns out, this is pretty important because stop and reverse a lot of times is your best option for a risk adjust, best risk adjusted return. So even though a lot of people like stops, they like profit targets, a lot of times it's best to just be in the market all the time, either long or short. And one reason you can think about this is if you have the right kind of entries, you probably will be long right around the time the market turns and goes up. So you're in early. And same thing on the short side. You get in before the market tops and then it comes back down. So a lot of times you get to catch more of the trend with a stop and reverse system. The downside is if your exit that reverses doesn't happen quickly enough, you can really get in trouble with a big loss. Now, if you want to read more about why I found stops, stop and reverse systems to work better, just go to my website. I've written some articles on it and where I've tested a bunch of exits and you can see for yourself what I've done. But here's an example. This system, you can see it bought and then it went short, but it fell quite a bit. And actually it lost almost $5,000 in two days. And for a lot of people, that would just be too much to stomach. They're like, oh no, I need a $50 stop or you know, a $500 stop or something like that. A lot of people can't handle a $5,000 loss in two days. It's pretty traumatic. I once had a, a coffee strategy that didn't have any stop. And I think at one point I lost like $15,000 per contract because there was no stop. I understand the pain with these stop and reverse systems, but the interesting thing is over the long run, when you look at risk adjusted returns, they actually turn out to be better. But this system, this particular one lost almost $5,000 on one trade. It could have been worse if it didn't happen to go short, uh, but that's what it was. You know, what do you do with position sizing and risk management when you don't know how big that loss could be? right? At least when you have a stop loss of $1,000, you say, well, chances are my biggest loss is going to be around 1000 Now, obviously, stops get get slippage and your $1,000 could turn into a $1,200 loss or something like that. But, you know, more or less, those stops do help you limit the amount of loss. But, you know, if there's some kind of crazy event, some kind of terrorist event, for example, a thousand dollar stop loss could just get blown away just so you realize that so a lot of times trying to position size based on your stop loss can be pretty dangerous so here's a technique you can use if you go to your back test if you've back tested over enough long enough period of time you can just go down and look at your performance results and look for your largest losing trade in this particular system the losing, largest losing trade was a little over $5,000. Now, this was only over a four or five year test. So chances are, if you test for longer, you're going to find a lot larger losing trade. You're not going to find a smaller one, right? Because you've already had this one. But you probably will find a larger one. But it gives you an idea of what you might expect worst case to lose. And that's done through a back test. Now... This video isn't about how to back test or anything like that, but if you back test incorrectly, you're going to get 
a pretty optimistic result here and your real trading is probably going to be worse. So just remember that you've got to back test correctly to get meaningful results. So you could use that biggest loss or some multiple of it. Maybe you use 1.5 times the biggest loss or two times the biggest loss. And that could be what you'd use for your position sizing, your risk management. If you used fixed fractional sizing, for example, you could use that as your biggest loss. You just assume that's what it's going to be. But realize it could be worse. And that's the big but here. If you don't have a stop loss, you'll never know for sure how big your loss could be. And like I said before, even the stop loss doesn't protect you in all market situations. A lot of people tend to think, oh, well, if I have a $1,000 stop loss, I'll never have a loss greater than $1,000. And that is absolutely false. You could still have a $10,000 loss, even though you only had a $1,000 stop loss. It's rare, but it can happen. Uh, there's another video I did where I showed oil spiking from Friday afternoon to a Sunday night, $15,000 per contract. So if you had a $2,000 stop loss, I guarantee you that got blown out and you probably ended up with like a twelve dollars or $13,000 loss. So just remember that when you're position sizing. I tend to try to play it conservatively when I position size. I try not to, to put on too much size because the downside risk is just can be really huge. And so you got to keep that in mind. Yeah, the upside goes up too when you trade five, ten contracts, but so does the downside. And most really good traders I know take steps to protect their downside. So keep that in mind. Okay, so that's risk management. When you don't know or you don't have a stop loss, that's one technique you can use. There are other ways you could do it. But if you like this video, please subscribe. Please leave a comment. Please leave a thumbs up. Do all three and uh, somehow you'll be rewarded, right? Isn't that what people say? If you pass on this message to 10 people, you'll become rich. I'm not going to guarantee that, but do it and I'll keep making videos. And so maybe you'll find more of my videos useful. All right. I'm Kevin Davey. Have a great day.